Hey everyone, Ewok Hugs, and today we're going to continue our C++ calculator tutorial. Um, so last time what we did is we condensed a bunch of code into just a few lines, and we lined up our buttons with awesome geometry algorithms, and today we're going to do that for our operation buttons, our plus minus multiply divide equals and clear button. Okay, so we're gonna start this off by deleting these six lines, six lines of code. And we're gonna just say Q push button, uh, operation button, and we're gonna say five, because zero, it's really six because it counts the zero, so we're gonna delete all these uh, methods and we're gonna declare a new one called operation. Pushed. Basically the same thing we did for the numbers button, except this buttons, but this time for the operation buttons. Okay, now we go to our .cpp, um, and in this, the very first thing we're gonna do is delete all these lines of code that initialize the, our operation buttons. And we're basically gonna do the same thing that we did for our number buttons. We're gonna use a for loop that I'm just gonna copy and paste for the sake of time and i equals zero, i is less than six in this case, i plus plus digit, we're gonna call it operations, and it's gonna be an array, so we put our braces right there, and then we're gonna put our squiggly braces, we're gonna declare which one is, equals, and we're gonna define everything in this array, um, plus, minus, multiply, and divide. So we've created this string array and it has these six components in it. Um, pretty basic. Anybody with any programming knowledge will know exactly what this means. It's just setting, so this would be the zero value of the array, this would be the one value of the array, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's change this to operation buttons button at i equals new q push button and we're going to change this to operations at i. So the very first button that we're initializing would be the clear button in this case and it's the c and so when the i equals zero it'll create this button with the name c. Okay connect, we're going to connect operation button to at i to operation push. Okay. Now the very next thing we're going to do is actually create our operation push method. So let's go void main window and then operation push. Okay, so what do we need in the operation push method? We need a couple of things. If we go down and look at our old, um, not our equals one, but our old uh, methods for our operations, the ones that took up a lot of lines of code, we need to parse the int value, we need to set the value back equal to nothing, and we need to set the text back equal to value, which is nothing. And then we change the bool equal to true. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and copy and paste our add one into here. Um, the only thing we're going to delete is add bool equal to the true, and the rest we're going to keep for now. Actually, forever. <laughs> but, um... So now the question is, how do we know which button's being pushed? Well, obviously we're going to need some if statements. So let's go ahead and type those in. If, if, if. We're going to want to use six of these because we have six different, um, we need to check six different things. So we're going to need to check the strings obviously we're gonna need to see the string which string on the button is being pushed um, and we're gonna do that by going like this we're gonna say equal equal to every one of these and then yeah but, but the question is what exactly what exactly is the code to see um, to basically check the text on the button. Well, the code isn't too hard. In fact, we've used it before. It's up here in our button push method. What we did was we initialized a Q 
push button, that's a sender. Uh, a sender basically means it's grabbing whatever button, whatever... It's basically saying, because up here we connected all of our buttons to Operation Push. And it's saying whatever button is be currently being connected to Operation Push, assign make the button equal to that button, this new button equal to that button. So that's basic stuff. Um, and then we're going to use this kind line of code, button text, to check the strings, to see if the strings are what we want them to be. Okay. Oh. This is all just, um, yeah, this is basic stuff. Okay, so if the button equals clear, what do we want to do? We just want to set the value equal to nothing. Easy enough. If button equals equals, we'll call equals. Okay. We could go ahead and de delete our clear method. We could delete all of these add, subtract, multiply, and divide methods as well. Um, we're gonna keep our equals method. We could initialize it in here, but for the sake of organization, I'm just gonna keep it out of there. It's just a preference, really. You could do all the coding in here, but it's, uh, you know, nothing too fancy. Um, equal, uh, plus bool, equal to true. I think I called it plus bool. Add bool. Multiply and divide. Okay, this is perfect. Um, we're just about done. If we go ahead and run it right now, we the only problem we're gonna have really have is with oh oh I deleted the equals from here. Um, okay, that was an easy fix. So if we go ahead and run it now, the only problem we're really going to have is the geometry, which we had last time with our other buttons. Um, but let's go ahead and test it out. 6 divided by 3, our equals button isn't there, but if it was, it would equal 2. Okay, so... That's all for today, and next time, probably tomorrow, I'm going to actually show you how to set the geometry for these buttons, which is fairly simple stuff, not too difficult, basically the same thing we already have done, and yeah, uh, we condensed a lot of code today, and we should be really proud of ourselves. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and I'll see you next time.